<laughs> no, he doesn't. I, sw I swear to God. This is in Brazil. So. so what the <laughs> and it was my grandma. And she was saying, <laughs> I can't do this. Like, uh, I need uh, to leave. It <laughs> Who wants to come in? All right. Do the intro. Let's go. Welcome to the Becky Boys Podcast. Welcome, 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 Woo. welcome. Familiar face. Familiar face. Sec second time around. <laughs> second time around. Yearly thing. Thanks yeah, for having me, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. It's, it, it seems like it's a tr tradition at this point, honestly. I, I didn't expect you to down the mimosa <laughs> so <laughs> fast. What? I told you. I was like, listen, I'm only going to have one. And then I, and then you're like, oh, well, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> once it touches my lips. <laughs> you said once that sweet nectar touches my lips. You guys have an extra bed? Because I might have to sleep here. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got we got plenty. All right, good. We got a lot of the, the aerated ones, you know? What the fuck's that mean? Air match. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're speaking so weird today. All right, sorry. Air mattress one. Yeah, the one. They're, they're expensive too. I've never slept on an air mattress and not ended up like just on the floor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Is it built that way, or is there just always a hole? <laughs> um, it's it's like uh, it's built to be destroyed. No, but like, is it built to like slowly deflate, or is it just always a little tiny hole? I think know? they just suck. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Not good. They're, Unless they're, you pay, I went to Bed Bath and Beyond, dude. They have like a two hundred dollar fucking air mattress, spy mattress, which is so dumb. Even dumber, bought it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it works, and it's like legit. I mean, it's it's like, and it, it's not like an air mattress is supposed to be your first resort. That's a oh yeah, someone needs it now. Well, I have an air mattress just because I know people who get drunk and they piss on, in mm. beds, right? You ah, know, right. so I gotta like break that out sometimes. Oh my god, you know, you know what happened to me once. Do you guys uh, count, uh, like, so let's say, you, 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 how, how well do you know your apartment? It's like, it's like, like, like let's, say it, let's say it's pitch black. Can, do you like count your steps? Like it's 10 steps to the table, 20 steps to the, let's say it's pitch black. Can you make it around? I, I'm, I don't know. I don't really know if I, what I'm going to say is factual, but I want to say that no one does that. No. Okay. Well, I, I do. I, well, it's not factual. I do that. So I know, I know it's like when I used to live upstairs where they're living now, it's like 30 steps to the bathroom. Right? And like at step 25, there's a chair you gotta kind of get around. Why? So th one time I had this girl over, right? And we, we've, she slept over a few times before, and we, we were th that kind of drunk where you don't Congrats even. Congrats on the sex. Thank you for that. <laughs> no, no, no. We were like that kind of drunk where you kind of just get home and high five and just lay in the bed. You know, nothing happens because you're that drunk. Oh, yeah. Right. So, <laughs> so I know it's 30 steps to the bathroom. And then she gets up like, like an animal and walks, and I hear like 12 paces and a door closed. That doesn't sound right to me. She pissed in a closet. So I get, so I so I get up and I, I I'm so drunk too. I get up and I run. I'm like oh, oh god. And then I open the door, which I assume she's in because all the doors are closed. And then I, I open the door, which is not the bathroom. And she's in there. She just goes, "Excuse me," <laughs> <laughs> like like I'm in the wrong. And I'm so drunk. So I'm like, "What are you doing?" And she's squatting on the floor. I'm like, "What are you doing? You're like 18 paces away from the toilet." <laughs> and she looks at me and she <laughs> she looks at me and she goes. You know, you sound like a fucking idiot right now. <laughs> she was right, but also wrong. Yeah, yeah. And you I know? was like, you're squatting on the floor like a wildebeest. And then like just... Was she in a bedroom? At the time, it was a bedroom with no bed. So yes, technically, pissed all over the floor. Huh. And that's... You got I mean, now, I mean... You know, moving forward, you put down wee wee pads in that room. Right, right, right. Or, you have to teach them. Yeah, they or have to I, smell it. Yeah, I then, <laughs> yeah. Or I just have to lock each individual door when someone comes over. With like zip ties. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know. I've just never run into that problem. Like, I've never been, like, most, usually my apartment is not pitch black where I can't just see, you know, a yeah. vague image. What do you image sleep with a nightlight? Like, a, like no, a child? There's moon. There's moon. The moon. <laughs> and your eyes adjust. <laughs> it was a cloudy night and it was quick. <laughs> New York like, City, there's street lamps everywhere. Yeah, and also, why are you counting paces? Like, yeah, what, what, what are, are you, like, paces? afraid of being blind or something? Oh no! I'm preparing just in case my vision eventually goes. That's what I mean. No, you you never had to carry a box that's like covering your face, and you need to know how many steps down your your stairs are. Yeah, I, this is like psychotic. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. If what if you ever just accidentally take an extra step down your stairs that you oh, didn't? You that's didn't the worst. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And you almost oh. stomp a <laughs> fucking hole through your floor. So now we're all agreeing. Now imagine you're holding something heavy. And you're doing that? Okay. It's a rep, rep, what's the word? Recipe for disaster. Yeah. And I'm prepared for that. How many steps are in the staircase? Nine. Nine. I'm, I'm eight, gonna, eight. I'm gonna test that after. Eight down, nine up. It's not. It's not, it's not the same. It's not the same because you're already on the flat level. It's not the same. 
I gotta be honest. I really hate that you know that. <laughs> I really don't like that. That's you know. That's all I'm saying. That's one of those staircases where, uh, like, if you're tall and you do a little gallop as you step down, you like hit your head right on the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are you one of the people that uh, go two steps at a time? So it depends. It really I depends. I hate those people. I do that in my building. Like, you have to go down to the lobby, and then there's like a door, and then there's like a short uh, staircase to get to like the parking lot. Mm-hmm. That one, I fly up that bitch. I hate those people. You're you're a two stepper too. That couch is a two stepper. Uh, sometimes, I mean, I I'm more stepped. of a, I'm more of like a jump down the last couple. Yeah, I'm he, like a kid at he'll heart. Jump I'll, I'll jump four. Yeah, right. I'll jump at the end. You shake the whole house. Grow up, Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't Jumping kill the child stairs. in me. I'm just saying. That's all. You know, I'm prepared for when people pee on the floor. Well, I mean, do you pee? You guys ever peed where you're not supposed to? It's yo. It happens. So this is the thing. Like, I know people that like they open up random rooms and piss in them or they're like walk into someone's kitchen and piss there or whatever i've never done that but the last time i didn't drink for months after this because i was like yo this is freaking me out (laughs) but i got i went to a yankee game and then i went to my friend's bar and a bunch of people were buying me shots and i like was already drunk so i'm like yeah and i was obliterated i got home and I only know what happened because I was able to piece it after the fact. Mm -hmm. But I woke up and I went to the bathroom. Like, my clothes were all over the floor. And then I went to go piss in the toilet. Right. And then drunkenly lost balance, pissed everywhere. Mm. (laughs) Literally, I walked into my bathroom. I was like, dude, it smells like piss. (laughs) (laughs) And I literally took, like, I, I like, washed the whole bathroom. I Clorox wiped the entire thing. And then I spiffered it. And I was like, I can't have this piss everywhere. My pants piss everywhere. (laughs) Like, I must have tried to start peeing, and then I just, like, lost balance. It was like, I'm going down. (laughs) (laughs) Once you start peeing, you can't stop peeing. I disagree. What? Oh, I I have a a firm control over my stream. Your urethra? Oh, yeah. That means you have a damaged penis. (laughs) Wait, does it? I mean, if you're holding pisses, like... I mean, I can hold a piss, too, for, like, a second. Yeah, I was going to say, like... I had a situation. I, I remember my friends all being really impressed, and I didn't, I, I didn't, never understood other people couldn't do it. Oh, it was in front like, of your friends. That's nice. Well, I was peeing at college where I shouldn't have been, like some bush, and then security rolls up and, you know, dick out everything. I stop midstream, halfway through a heavy stream, and just <laughs> sprint away. And everyone was like, how, how did you do that? And like, I don't know, man. It could just... Uh, I have a superpower. Yeah, yeah. Super Definitely power. can't stop and then start running. That is... That yeah, if is anything, actually, like, I would be you running... So you would surrender to security? No, no, I would, no, I would just piss my pants. I, I, I would have no choice. <laughs> yeah, I, or okay. I would just run away from them and continue pissing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what a, I was going to say. Then they have a trail to follow you. <laughs> that's a good point. The trail that ends. The point. trail ends. Though. Eventually, you stop peeing. Then you dive into a bush. Fair enough. Yeah. Be- beers do hit different at baseball games. I've gotten very, very drunk at baseball games. Yeah. There was one time I was at a baseball game um, in San Francisco, and it was just I was just like throwing them back. And I had seen... I, I had seen a, a very enticing uh, Sunday that was inside of like a San Francisco Giants helmet. You know, one of those things, like twenty seven dollars. I know it all too well. <laughs> <laughs> so I got one of those Sundays, just that, and and we are continuing through the game, getting more and more and more beers. And I'm leaving, and somebody's at, somebody's telling me, "Hey, you got yeah, take your stuff." I look back. It's a graveyard. It's four helmets. <laughs> I I drunkenly bought four different helmets because I had thought. Look at this thing. It looks so cool. Dude, I could you ate four of those Sundays? Oh yeah. I I <laughs> Oh yeah. I wouldn't be able to do that in competition. <laughs> no, I mean I was when I'm a drunk Sweet when tooth. I'm drunk I'm a different animal. And you're you know, it's just like you're in the game. You're you it's the game, you know? Yeah, I know. So, so but Been the fact there. that I totally forgot four on four separate occasions that I had these souvenir helmets. And now I have all four of them. I can't wait to go to baseball games. That, like, I hate going to Yankee Stadium. I'm a Yankee fan, but I hate going there. But like City Field, amazing. Getting out of there, impossible. <laughs> it's like gridlocked every single time. And I get usually what happens is you get hammered at the game, and then you try to leave. And like I remember last year, my sister doesn't drink at all, and she was driving us home. So she was driving, but she couldn't move. So I just got out of the car. And just sat on the side, was laying down on the sidewalk and still drinking beers. <laughs> and I like fell asleep on the sidewalk with my brother and my brother in law. We're just like kind of sitting there and just fucking whatever. Because the cars aren't moving. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, at least drink. a half an hour. I was like, I'm going to continue this. Can't drink in the car, not moving anyway, drinking outside. Yo, when the pandemic first happened, because <laughs> we were like, oh, yo, 30 days, like, it's easy. Be sick. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. 
I literally just moved back into my mom's house, basically. <laughs> like, I just brought, like, I brought, like, my Xbox and, like, mad clothes. And I was just like, I'm going to sleep in the basement because we had just redone it. And, uh, dude, the amount of, like, I may have drank, like, eight bottles of red wine in two weeks. <laughs> Like we were just getting drunk every fucking day. The other day, my sister actually put in the in our family group chat a picture of me just passed out, like half playing Mario Kart, uh, <laughs> in, on the basement floor. And I was like, "Yeah, this was like the height of the pandemic." I was like, "Yo, this is mad exciting. Like we're all gonna have to sleep over." How do you, fucking a year later, yeah, still there. terrible. <laughs> How do you, so then, you're a big wine guy. Medium wine guy? I'm a, I'm a medium wine guy. Medium wine if guy? If you ask me a question about it, I don't know anything. Yeah, like, it's, I don't know if this is oaky or dry. If some, yeah, wh- I don't know. It's, this is dry. It's like, it's liquid. How can it be <laughs> yeah, it's dry? It's, it, it feels wet. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, if I go to a restaurant and like, you know, they hand me a wine menu, I'm not going to be like, ooh, they have a... Right, oh, uh, Cabernet. Uh, I don't even know how to fucking pronounce that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like, bring me your finest... And then I'm like, wait, because sometimes you go to a fucking restaurant and they have a wine list that's like 30 pages long yeah. and you're like, this is going to be expensive. Right. Because they're like cheapest bottles, like $80 and you're like, fucking Christ. Hey, we're at the wrong place. But at that point, you're like, I might as well get a bottle because a glass of that is like 20 bucks. That's how they get you. And that's how they get you. It's a scam. It's an Italian scam. <laughs> <laughs> Old Italian. It's, a, and it's, a French, it's a French scam as well. They got good wine too. That's true. If I'm oh. ever at a restaurant like that, I sip the wine and go, mmm, delicious. No yeah. matter what Dude, I think about it, the amount of pressure <laughs> when the when the when the fucking person comes over and they go like this, try you know, it. it's like it's like this. They they're like try it. it and you're like swirling it, and, you're like, and then you try it and you're like it's good. I've yeah. never tasted wine and be like this sucks because if it sucked, I'd probably yeah. be like yo, this is fire. Dude, especially when they do uh, when you order, let's say you order a bottle of wine, they do the maybe half a shot pour and they're like okay try it it's like am i am i allowed to say this sucks and you send the whole b- bottle you just open back yeah am i allowed to do if they, that if they say if it's like expired not expired but like if it was if it <laughs> was like a hole in the court cork or something yeah, yeah like, it, oxidization yeah, yeah. something <laughs> like that <laughs> sucks like oxidization <laughs> yeah something like that then it tastes bad but like bro i probably had you can make wine out of a shoe, and I'd probably be like, this tastes good. <laughs> some prison wine? Yeah, some prison wine. I'd probably be like, this is not bad. Is- also, dude, one time I was at a restaurant, and they brought over, a, like, I ordered, like, a steak. And then they brought over a raw piece of steak to me. And was just like, is this good? And I'm like, I don't fuck. <laughs> Who I'm a meat guy, dude. <laughs> I was like, I just got over the wine thing, and they're bringing over the food. I'm like, listen, just cook the shit and that, and bring it to me. I don't really know anything. They were like, how's this? I was like, it looks it's, cool. It's smooing. Yeah, I guess. I also feel like there's a low barrier, like, there's a low barrier of entry for ordering a bottle of wine. Like, you can just kind of agree, and then they'll just bring it to you. I was at an Olive Garden in the airport, um, <laughs> which is besides This is the where you want to drink wine. <laughs> I, I was at the Olive I was Garden. joking when I said prison wine, by the way. I was at an Olive Garden in the airport, and the guy, and I was like, you know, ordering the breadsticks <laughs> or whatever, and the guy was like... Wait, wait, were you with someone? No, I was alone. <laughs> I was alone alone was, in an Olive Garden airport? I was in the airport. It was... It, this, 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 is in Brazi- this is in Brazil. So... so what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you were he, alone he, in Brazil <laughs> in an airport at an Olive Garden. The is there anything else you need to tell us yeah, before this story yeah. just goes Dude, off the rails. Was, just go eat in the bathroom. It was the only thing that made me feel like home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Either way, so, Olive Garden vibes. So, making, so, so, so you know, get, get the thing, unlimited breadsticks, all the whole the whole bit. And then he's like, "We have a wonderful house cabernet." And I'm like, uh, "He's like, would you like to try it?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And the guy brings over an entire bottle of wine, and I'm like. <laughs> did, uh, okay, and so he pours me a glass and then just sets it on the table. And I was like, did I just order this bottle of wine? And now everybody in the airport's looking at me. It's like, look at this sad, pathetic <laughs> freak drinking a bottle of wine. I would have slammed that, though. Oh, oh yeah. don't, totally Ordered did. two more. Was it? Ex- did he upsell you? It was it was expensive for an Olive Garden. Oh, so he targeted you. He was like, oh, this guy's alone and sad. But I'm, I'm going to charge him $120 a bottle of wine. He's not going to say anything. Yeah, he's not going to say shit. But I drank the whole thing. I had like a breadstick base. It was great. <laughs> I just, I just downed it. He was like, how was it? And I was like, I don't want another one. Let's start with that. I can't believe that <laughs> that whole story is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> there has like, to be one fact that's untrue. Yeah, I, I... I'm telling you, man. I really hope you're lying. No, I mean, those, I, 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 I love Italian food. I hate Olive Garden. I would never go to an Olive Garden here. 
But, Only in Brazil, because that but, would be better. But when you're in Brazil for like a vacation and you haven't had like any food and you just see something that's like, oh, this is something I know, it it's appealing. When in it's Brazil. Oddly, when in Brazil. When in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, I, I was on a wine tour. And the, you know, you ever go, just take uh, get a whole bus filled with your friends and go to a wine tour? Like that really cool white, I'm, I'm white really, thing to do? I'm not that kind of white right that's what i'm saying i i strive to be yeah, like now yeah. like like now i want to do that this summer like i have plans to do that uh -huh. but i like i never was my friends would be like what the fuck are you talking yeah, about you you give me an idea like that one more time i'm gonna flick your throat like, if I, yeah if i even like <laughs> dude i just got to the acceptable age where if i had wine my friends don't go what the fuck are you doing <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. this was like two years ago but if i was like 25 I was like, yo, we should have like a nice bottle of wine, just kind of chill. They'd be like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we're going to delete some beers and you're going to like it. Yeah, like enough. The, the, the birthday girl on this wine tour was like, I was young. So I was like, I just turned 21. We all just turned 21. And this girl, who, she, I would have let her beat me up. You know, it's like one of those. Like she was, like she was yeah, she was so hot to me. I was like, let, <laughs> yeah, she was so hot. She was so hot to me. I, I, I was willing to pay for her MMA classes just to beat me up, like right. that kind of hot. Okay, because she'd need them. Yeah, she yeah, no, she wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and then so so out of nowhere, like it wasn't even she the the tour guide who owned the winery or whatever came up to her and I happened to be just at the bar drinking wine next to her, not even really like talking. And then he he comes up out of nowhere, unprompted, goes, "Is this your boyfriend?" To me, and I and, and then we both look at each other, and she goes, you know, no, <laughs> like, obviously, <laughs> fist. yeah, obviously, no. ew, like, no. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, and this, and then on top of that, the guy goes, oh yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God, That's he goes, amazing. he goes, yeah, I was gonna say like this doesn't make any sense, and I went, well, thanks, guy. And then we got on the bus, and then w when we're going to the next winery, she comes over to me, and she goes, ooh, that guy was something, wasn't he? Like, that guy really uh, blew, that guy was a, no, she said, wow, that guy was a savage, wasn't he? I was like, if that's the word you Dude, call I that. Dude, I hate that. That was an asshole. I hate that. That's what he was. That guy was a loser. <laughs> mean, made me feel bad. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> now you're reminding me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is an hour later, by the way. I, I already forgotten about it with the 30 bottles of wine I drank after that scenario. Oh, God, that is so fucking funny. It was oh, terrible. Oh, God, I was going to say, this freak. <laughs> yeah, I was you? Like, this guy. It's like, dude, I'm just trying to enjoy my wine by myself. <laughs> I'm just chilling, man. Yeah, I'm just sitting. Some people are, like, brutally honest. Okay. I mean, I, they, okay. No, I'm sorry. No. Okay. no. Some people are just okay. so, no, so right. Okay. No, no, um, when you're right, you're right. You know what I mean? Okay. No, but I was I I I got my like uh, a COVID test yesterday and 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 uh and she was taking my vitals after the test. She was like, "Sir, you have high blood pressure." And I was like, "Well, I could have told you that." And, uh, <laughs> and, and, Good guess, doc. Yeah. And then she was like, "How many times um like do you eat salt?" And I was like, well, "Yeah, kind of. I don't not a, not a lot of it." Uh and then she was like, "Uh do you drink uh on a weekly basis? I was like, oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, and she was like, do you drink on a daily basis? I was like, no, who drinks on a daily basis? And she was like, sir, you can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what What does that so mean? What do I look like? <laughs> sir, your liver is screaming. <laughs> I was like, uh, no. And uh, then she let me on her way, but she definitely didn't believe me. That's fine. I, I love that. Do I look I like that kind of guy? That. Honestly, uh, anytime I've ever seen you guys, you're drinking. <laughs> that's a good one. That's two times. That's, that's, two, that's, times. that's two times, buddy. How old are you guys, though? 24 for me. 23 oh, cross. Dude. What a... Dude. Ripe age. Dude, 24 was... I think back when I was 24. And not that, like, it's years ago. I'm just telling you, like, when you turn 29, right? I just right. turned 29 years old. You're going to be like, what the fuck was... Like, that is crazy. <laughs> like, it's going to seem so hard to be like... Dude, because yeah, when I was like 19, I could drink 20 beers and feel nothing. It was yeah. disgusting. Like it was insane. And then you get to a certain age, it was like, yo, I have a fucking like if I really drink and really put it down, like I'm paying the fucking price for this shit. <laughs> like, yeah. bad. Well, we just found out that uh he, he Oh my god. Dude, so he yeah, I on. I thought I was like I had a 40 year old body because whenever I would drink, I would I would like you said pay the price. Yeah, like I'd have two day hangovers, sometimes three day. If if he right? drank on a Saturday, he no work Monday. No, I can't. I can't get worked on Monday. <laughs> Don't tell work that. Don't watch this. <laughs> but uh, and the whole time I'm like, oh my god, my liver must be fucked. Like I don't know. I guess I drank too much in college, and uh, I go to the doctor, which I should have done first. I waited like two years to do this, 
and uh, turns out I have celiacs, and it was just the gluten nice. in the beer that was making me feel like shit for two days. And I, I drank like twenty shots last weekend, felt fine the next day. And I would day. argue it yeah. was it was karma. <laughs> I would argue we had twenty shots for fun. I would argue it was karma because we used to just say, "Oh, uh, gluten's a myth," you know? Yeah, like, we well, used to make gl- fun of that. Gluten's in everything, like. So whoever has celiacs are lying. Yeah, you know, doing it for like, attention. Yeah, yeah, doing it for attention. And now, well, it was like partially because it became like a trend. And if you if you're not gluten intolerant or have celiacs, there's like it was a really big very thing. little yeah, reason yeah. to yeah. cut yeah. it out. Two stories. One, my brother has celiac, and I remember when he first told us, like, yeah, I got like celiac disease. I'm like, what is that? He's like, well, like. You know, like beer and bread, and I was like, "Oh, dude, you're going down." <laughs> yes. I was like, "There's oh, no way, like, <laughs> you're doing that." And he was like, "Off it for a while," and he's just like, "Fuck it, like, whatever." Um, but also, I was working at a pizzeria at one point, and this was at the height of like the gluten free mm. fucking wave or whatever. And this woman comes in and she orders like a gluten free pizza or something, and I don't really know what happened because I didn't take her order or whatever the fuck. And she lost her mind for Uh-oh. her husband, who apparently ha- has like a gluten allergy or whatever the fuck it is. This woman was screaming in classic white woman fashion of just being like, my husband will die if he eats this. <laughs> and I just wanted to chirp in and be like, probably not. Like, he'll probably just maybe get a rash and like, you know, probably be a little off for like a couple hours. But that's pretty much it. Like, he'll be all right. Like, he's not going to die. It's like fine. But people are freaking out. It's insane. Can you die from gluten overdose? I mean, I'm sure if you just fucking really indulge in your disease. I don't think so. It, what it is, it's just I think an she allergic was just reaction. Karen in it, you know, like a little bit of Karen in her. Oh, obviously. Well, yeah. Well, this woman. A lot that. of bit of Karen. Her in name it. was Karen for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah. On the receipt, or oh. Barbara, or something like that. Oh god. Those... That sucked though for anyone named Karen, kind of. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, well, it's not before really the, before the connotation was attached. Anybody have an aunt or a name? I, yes, I, I have an aunt Karen. I know a Karen too. She's she's very upset about it. She's Karen with a K too. Like Karen. yeah, my my aunt is too. Yeah. The fuck is Karen with a C? Yeah, is there yeah a C? that's a little is weird. That not a, or a Q? Is Karen? That, yeah. oh, Karen? <laughs> that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I guess so. Either way, uh, but she's. <laughs> she's <laughs> She's very upset. Was, That's the point. He's, tr- he's trying to validate <laughs> she's, his Karen more she's than your aunt. Is Karen short for something? Carolina. Korean, Karina. Kare- so it's just Karen. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Karen. I thought he said Korean. Korean. <laughs> Korean. Yes. Yeah. I am Karen. It's like two, you're saving one letter, I think. Uh, That's short for Korean. That's my bad. Um, right. Dude, what? A, okay. I mean, what about the fact? Are you a fan of uh, Caller Daddy? Oh my god! I don't know anything about it. Okay, good. Cause I do good. know, like, obviously about Alex and Barcelona. Right, 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 right. I've never like listened to an episode. Though. Okay, so this is what happens, right? Out of nowhere, they're they're like, everything's about sucking cock. Exactly, it's a sex podcast. Yeah, it's I'd a- argue. And dude, literally, yet three days ago, three days ago, this background. Yep, this exact bush thing. This thing. Oh, they they yeah. they jocked us, and I'm not. And I, I never sent hate, but I did say hey. I messaged them. I was like, all right, this is a little close. Obviously, okay, we're not a very big podcast. Right. Obviously, they've seen it and they copied us, right? Right, right. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. at, least, at, least, sure. at least top four. Of course. I mean, mm. call, call us daddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, for God's sakes. <laughs> is, it, is it just the, it's just the one now, right? The other one's, I don't know, doing whatever she does. Yeah, they, uh, they, they I think the she started her own out. podcast, but I don't, haven't seen it. Mm. I'm just saying, I got gripes. You're not the I got grapes. I got grapes. I got grapes. Yeah, I I honestly feel that way a lot. I like a lot. Like throughout, you know, my career, uh, there's <laughs> yeah, been a I lot. Think of, that's an appropriate yeah, word. I just like it. Just feels weird to call it that because when I think of career, I think of like mm, like a uh, suit and tie. Kind yeah, of. I don't know. But as I've been doing this, uh, there's been a lot of times where I'll put some video out or put something out or tweet something or whatever, and then all of a sudden I see like a bunch of memes like pertaining mm. to this particular yeah. subject, and like it would be one thing if I. Uh, and I've never like really said it because I'm not gonna be that guy who's like, oh my god, like all this shit, like blah blah blah. But it was very weird because there would be times where I would make a very specific joke, and then it would turn into like this bit that we do, mm-hmm. and then the memes would be like very specific to what I was saying, and I'm like, all right, this is fucking strange. And none of these people, like none of these accounts, like follow me or whatever. So I was just like, what the fuck? How's this happening? Like all these things, or like I'll put something out. And, like, I don't really indulge in the internet too much, especially these days. Like, I don't watch podcasts. I don't listen to podcasts. I don't watch YouTubers or any videos, really. 
Like, so I don't really know what the hell is going on. Like, I just kind of just do it and that's it. So when they do pop up after the fact, I'm like, I know I didn't subconsciously yell, like, I'm not influenced by something I had saw. Because you're not watching. Because I'm not really indulging right. in it. Yeah. So I, but it, so it is a little interesting, but I never like really make the claim, like, yo, what the <laughs> yeah. fuck? Why are they copying a, a me? A lot of people tagged me in this dude's uh, video, these his videos recently. And because he, he went viral on TikTok, but him and his boy like do like a podcast, I guess. I don't even know if they do an actual podcast. Like I just seen clips it of it. It might just be like Insta clips, you know? Yeah, kind of. So, uh, but they were, uh, there was like four clips that he had posted that were very similar to conversations that I've had on mm, my podcast. Okay. And people were tagging me like, yo, whatever. And then some dude was writing comments on his shit, long comments about being like, yo, this is fucked up, blah, 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 blah. And, like, I see that, and I'm like, I, that's so turbo to me. Like, someone who's, like, a fan of mine being like, yo, I'm going to go after this guy stealing this content, whatever. But that it is, like, a little similar and, like, whatever. But it's, like, also, like, dude, I'm not fucking saying anything, like, crazy. Like, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not like he's stealing a joke. It's, like, the topic. Like, the topic is, like, funny and weird. It's going to come up. So I, like, messaged the kid, and I was like, listen, don't listen to these people. Yeah, don't listen to these people. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, dude, do whatever. Do your thing. Like, I don't really, you know, I don't. I just don't even care. Well, then he messaged back and be like, oh, sorry, man. Or was it like, we were just no. doing our thing. I, I had told him, I was like, yo, you could just, because I saw him like reply back. And he uh, was like nice when he replied uh, back too. He was just kind of like, to like the person, he was like, yo, I don't really know who this podcast is. I'm sure oh, it's okay, great. Okay, but. okay. So I was just like, dude, don't listen to these people. Like they're going to feel that way about shit. But I, I never really cared too much. There was actually only one time. You cared? Yeah, it got you a little bit because it bothered me, and then like I ended up on blogs and shit. It was like the only time that's ever happened to me. Where like there was this famous fucking YouTuber, his name was Alfie something, and he uh, had millions of followers. And this is when me and Keith Alfie Days, British yes. YouTuber, yeah, that's him. So look at this guy, biggest fan. Yeah, really. yeah, the Mad Libs thing, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That was a thing on the internet. Like people did Mad Libs, mm -hmm. and like I thought it was funny. So I was like, oh, me and Keith are gonna do it. I was like, but we're gonna put water on our mouths, so it's like adds like a layer to it. If like try really hard not to laugh. So I did that. The video goes viral. And then the next like month, all these videos started popping up. And this kid um, did it. And then uh, there was something that came up. Like he basically like took credit for the idea. And I was just kind of like, and you're just, oh, you know, I, I was like nice about it. And I was just like, yeah, I wonder where he got. I, I said something like, I wonder where he got that idea. <laughs> and then there was like these blogs that came out and they were like beef, beef 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 yeah they were like oh this person goes after you know whatever and then he was just you know like it was obvious like in that point it's like obvious because that didn't exist on the internet mm -hmm. and it, we're all talking about putting water in your mouth a part of a video like i don't really give a fuck like it's not <laughs> a big deal it's not like i'm gonna get credit for it and be like thank you it's not like this I, is, I don't this is care. My intellectual property yeah it was just <laughs> weird that he like when people just won't admit it like if people if I get something from somebody, like I immediately say Credit that. Them. Yeah, yeah right, exactly. Right. You know, but like I, I don't know. The internet's like a weird place, bro. Because I'm sure there's things that I've said or like I've done like over the years that people felt like, yo, this is very similar to this person, and maybe it fucking is. And I don't know how to credit everybody that all this shit comes from. Well, that's like, have you seen the massive, massive change in memes like the past year, where every single meme has credit now at the bottom because, yeah, like fuck Jerry and all these huge well, I mean, million accounts. Fuck Jerry. You should just everybody. steal them. Just yeah. absolutely steal them. Sometimes, sometimes recreate the image, the same thing, but just remove the watermark. Yeah, and like repost it, and people got mad. Yeah, and that, so like that idea to me sounds weird. So like, for me, if you're not a person who's like typically a creator, and like you have some funny tweet that goes like, or forget about a tweet because your name's attached to that, but like you create a meme and it goes like viral, like. I get that you should be credited, mm -hmm. but like, what is the point? Right. Like, it's nothing is going to change your life in this way because you created this image. Yeah. But like, if you're a creator and you're just stealing, also, I mean, fuck Jerry has like built their entire business off of curating. Right. Is what they call it. <laughs> but it's all just like kind of taking other people's shit. And the fat Jewish was another one who got yeah. in trouble yeah, for that yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. But that was very early on before anyone knew shit. But yeah, they do credit, but sometimes they still don't. I don't know, because I think it's it, it's only important because in this whatever realm we are in social media where literally that one thing can from 10,000 to a million followers. Right. And I think that's why it's a little crazy now. It's important, Spe especially the stealing. Specifically on TikTok. I've seen you on TikTok recently. Like 
kind of lurking around. I'm yeah, lurking. You like, com- lurk. you like comment I, on stuff. I like I a know. comment. Yeah. Uh, yo, TikTok what do you like is TikTok? fucking hilarious. TikTok's great. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. But but TikTok is like the sense, like the hub of oh, this is this person's idea. I'm gonna do it and yeah. not credit them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and also like that's another thing. Like on the internet now, it's like you make a joke that's funny, like everyone tells the same joke. Like they, right. they just yes. do it. Like and you see memes, and it's like I've seen this before, or it's the same joke, but just packaged a little differently. It's there there's a, a lack of originality, obviously. Now more than ever, I would say, especially with a thing like TikTok, it's like some people will make the same TikTok five times yeah. in a row. Yeah, and it's like to it the just, same audio, same dance, or whatever the fuck, and just like dude, acting. Like I, it's like what I don't know what I'm and looking. Just see which yeah. one hits. But yeah. specifically, like you said, with TikTok, it's like that's a platform where you can have one hit and all of yeah. a sudden hundred thousand followers. Yeah, one hundred percent. And it's I don't crazy. know. I don't know if they do it on purpose. Because if they do, then it's an amazing marketing thing for them. But I and I tell people this all the time. Like I talk to a lot of people that, you know, want to, uh, just like pick my brain about like business or growing this or that or whatever. And I tell them like, yo, you need to have a TikTok page because everyone gets a shot on TikTok regardless. Like you right. go to someone's uh page and they have a lot of videos with like eighty views and like a hundred views, whatever. And then they have that one that has like sixty thousand. Mm-hmm. And you're like, what the fuck? So like everyone gets a shot. Like. Some one of your videos is going to end up on a lot of people's like for you page. So you take you, you know, do your job in like making these clips so that when you do get your shot, a lot of people come to your page, then they have this like portfolio. So it's like if you have clips that like look good and they're funny and, you know, you believe in them or whatever and you don't treat it as like just fucking around. If you want to like grow your following, if you're just doing it for fun, that's a different story. But if you want to grow a following than like really paying attention to each thing you do because everyone gets a shot on TikTok. And when you get it, if you are funny enough, then when they come to your page and they check out your other shit, if they're if it's all good, I'm following them. And that's kind of how that like sort of translates. But they give everyone a shot. And I feel like the reason why I said the marketing thing is because for people who don't get that kind of viewership, mm-hmm. if when you do get that, it's like a fucking drug. It's like doing heroin. Not that I've done that. But you, <laughs> I imagine it's, it's exactly like heroin. Uh, it's exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but like once you get that, you're like, oh, I've gotten a hundred thousand views before. Like I could do it again. So you like spend more time in the app, and you like, you know, whatever. So I mean, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting motivator, right? It's oh, I see this extra zero behind this view number. I want that again. I want two more zeros. I want yeah. definitely four even the more playing zeros. field. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The Conversion's th- hard though. Like for yes. Off, off of TikTok. Yeah, yeah. It's like you'll see someone with hundred fifty thousand. Uh, in TikTok followers, they have like a thousand or twelve, Instagram, two thousand yeah. Instagram followers. Yeah, it's like what's going on? It's here? very that that in itself is very interesting. Unless it's you know the girl showing off there, you know, and then their their Instagram followers you practice that. Thing. You like yeah. that? You practice that? Like yeah, that? yeah. <laughs> I was just for this conversation <laughs> yeah. that we were gonna get to. I, I honestly thought that was a sound effect. That was really good. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> Can you whistle? I can't whistle. <laughs> There's a bottomless place like in my neighborhood that. My buddy Frank and Davino went to, and they were just going like mimosa for mim- They hate us in that place because they order bottomless and they're like skinny flute like, glasses like, 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 that you could literally, like, two gulps, it's gone. Right. So as they, <laughs> the waitress comes over and she's filling up our drinks, whoever she fills up first, they chug it and put it down. And then they come back to fill that up, and then that person chugs theirs. So she's like, I can't do this. Like, I need to leave. It's, it's bottomless. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, so it's like, she's like, I can't just stay here and fill up these glasses. So you guys like, can't do that. But we always like, every time we go over and do it, my friend Davino drank so much fucking orange juice. He went to the bathroom, threw up, and came back. I was like, I got to stop drinking these. <laughs> it's like, my body hurts from the fucking orange juice. Uh, you really, you really, it's very important to set the tone. When you go to brunch early, early, yeah, because yeah, that's you, you, that's how they get you. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, bottomless, and then they don't come back for twenty. Right. Come back every with, 10 with, the wa- with the waitress, you gotta go. Okay, this is like you gotta Wolf of Wall Street it. We, yeah, want, yeah. we want two mimosas now. Exactly. That's one and then another one every two minutes, and then five minutes after that, and then you bring the pitcher, and then you that's can leave. I pass life. the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, you have to convince them to bring the pitcher. Say it's, this it's will always be an less argument. work for you. It's always an argument. It's like literally, I can save you steps on your Fitbit if you just bring the if you bring the pitcher, please. When you think about it. I feel like bottomless. They really can't be making a mark up there. I think you, no said, you said you paid forty five the that's, other that's, day. Though. If a group that place, we <laughs> robbed them. <laughs> no, no, we you know, robbed them. I, I think for every uh, every robbery, there's the like the group of uh, girls that uh, uh, there's like seven of them, and they're like, oh, bottomless brunch, and it's like, 
And they have like four. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think once they see a group of guys come in, they're like, fuck. Yeah, probably. You know? But if they see like a bridal shower, they're like, okay. all right, let's Dude, do if it. I get a bottomless, it, even if it hurts, I'm like, I'm <laughs> getting my I am yeah. going to win. Yeah. Like, this is going to cost you guys money. <laughs> yeah. You fucked up. It's like the, the, the people at the buffet, you know? It does feel like a challenge. It does. Like, how many can you fit in three hours? Or whatever it is. That's true. No one's really challenging you, though. Oh, I'm challenging true. myself. Yeah, everything's a challenge. Yeah, I'm pushing myself to the next limit every time. It's t- strictly business. I should show up to that place with a briefcase. It's like <laughs> it's like I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there, and I'm I, I like I, like you said, I'm robbing you. Chicken and, and waffles. I was many fucking uh, Bellinis as I can. I don't take. know. If, uh, oh, Bellinis. Bellinis. That's, that's that. your drink. Bellinis are fucking amazing. Tell them what it is. What is it? It's, it's like peach nectar and champagne. And 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 <laughs> and you they squeeze bees really tight and it drip it right into that's not what that means. You say bees. Bees. So oh. whatever he just said is false. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some kind of honey. Yeah, no, honey doesn't it, just because it has bee bellies. If you Bellini. grab. A handful of bees. You're gonna get bee guts, not honey. Squeeze it. No one's gonna do that. <laughs> you know honey's bee throw up. What? what? Honey's bee throw up. I thought it was like cum. I, I honestly, <laughs> I don't know which one of the side. I might have mixed si- it up. It <laughs> might be, it might be cum. I'm signing with that one. Because cum is like, yeah, you know, what? I got into an sticky. argument. I got, yeah, but I got into an argument with someone the other day. I was like, cum's not really sticky. <laughs> it's more slimy. Which, which side were okay. you on? Because I was on the slimy side. Slimy? I, it's like oh. I, when I think of cum, right? So, okay. If I put it on a piece of paper, right, and then I'm I with slap you. it another piece of paper on top of it, <laughs> it's not like it's just gonna stick together like it's a post to slide off. Yeah, yeah. After a while, it's going to harden and then become sticky. It's like glue. Yeah, but then it's you know, but then but like if you immediately try to, it's it's more slimy. Yeah, but then you know, could but say but you but could but say glue's not sticky. If, if you ever you had, do the same that's, thing. that's exactly what I'm saying. But if you ever had it on your fingers, no, if you no, no, glue, I agree with him. if you, if you I glue a piece of paper together and. And push it together, it will not slide off. You're talking about Elmer's white cum glue? Yeah. I, yes, it will. I, I agree with him. I agree with him. I agree with him. I used to Excuse snuff me? that. Uh, uh, they do have a snuff bl- it. You're going to unpack snuff. that. What'd you say? <laughs> What'd I say? <laughs> snuff. Snuff. I meant I huffed it, all right? Huff, I huffed huff. glue. My Either kindergarten way. teacher wasn't that great no, a teacher. I, I totally agree with you, though. Cum is more slimy. Yeah, I get slimy. behind no, that argument, no. though. Oh, oh you're by switching the way, on me? By the way, did you ever come on yourself? Last episode, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, like yeah. I just want to bring that up. Okay, you didn't. For, you fucking no, no, no. Liar. I, I did, I did. Because, and I want to say this: you, it didn't change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> there was, I was, I stood the same stance. You guys are weird. Oh, no, honestly, yeah, I can tell you didn't come on yourself because you just said that. that right. <laughs> oh, is it's, that it? It's more, me? it's more of a, uh, a convenience thing, and also, I just think you're very pretentious. I'm pretentious because I don't want to come on myself. You're, you're a pretentious comer. That's the thing. I'm a pretentious comer. It's possible, and I would. I'll. I won't even argue it. I'll accept it if I don't have to keep coming on myself. I'll accept it. Well, no one's gonna make you do that. Uh, you <laughs> did one no. time. Maybe the girl who pissed in your hallway will make you do that. That's we aren't. That's if. Oh, first of all, we if, made a deal. For, at, that's fair. That was, that, it was a bet. And if, first of all, if that girl ever, ever asked me to do anything, I'd be like, "You pissed on my floor." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you clean it up? No. Do you want to talk about your games coming out? Game, yo, Dude, yeah. I gotta pee Hell so yeah. bad. Can I pee? Oh, you're one I'd of those. So, Dude, take a, so, go so take bad. Fat Good. Right, Am I, I the only I, one? I, sw- right. I swear to God, though, you do it every time. If you hit one of the cameras, I'll beat you up later off camera. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. I'll take those odds. Okay. How many steps to the bathroom? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know his steps. I know my steps. I would still That's, say, a, I would that's say, a bad metric. 20, 22 then. paces. 22 steps. paces. Go. Count. Two, three, four, five. You're getting. Seven. It's probably like t- 13. You guys 13 max. Dude, you were off by a lot. He J- takes wide strides. J- He's J- a double stepper. JT does have to take wide double strides. Was that, that means you take half of those steps? I take half those you steps. You shuffle? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little, like a penguin? <laughs> yeah, I'm, a little, I'm, I'm as least noise as possible. I'm a, I'm a little quiet boy. I don't know about that. All right, yeah. All right, little break. Intermission. Intermission. <laughs> you vaccinated? Half. Oh, yeah. How'd you half. get it? Come on, look at me. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just like, it, 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 it was the long con. It paid off. Oh, the BMI. The BMI. It, it paid <laughs> off. Gotcha. I was like, it this was is my game. moment. It was all for this. It was, yeah. it was all for this. Now he's going to lose the weight. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Now, sure. now he's In good. Six months, you'll see a whole new me. It was, this was a lifelong. He knew plan. it was coming. Yeah, yeah. It was coming. <laughs> he predicted that future. But it is kind of. Knew this would pay off someday. I got so many DMs about that. It's like, how'd you get it? And I just like responded, like, yo. 
just I'm fat, man. <laughs> like, come on. It's like, yo, I had four Sundays at a at a Giants game. Didn't uh didn't I don't mean to bring this up, but so at uh some kind of like retirement home, didn't you get abused like that? I did get abused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my uh so 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 my grandma had Alzheimer's. She used to be in a retirement home, like uh, not a retirement home, <laughs> at Alzheimer's home, and. I love to visit her, but uh, that place is a little weird. It's a little weird. It's a little like just because just because everybody in there is has Alzheimer's and it's really upsetting. And I God bless the nurses that can deal with this. I'm not one of them. <laughs> yeah, we know you're not either, a nurse. Either, 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 either way, so um, they were having like a celebration and no one knew what was going on. It was like Christmas celebration and no one knew. At all, it was, was April. On. Yeah, it was April. <laughs> uh, no, but, but yeah, and, and so and so they had like a cake, and so I was like, oh, I mean, they're not gonna eat it. I'll I'll take a I'll, I'll take a slice. <laughs> they're not gonna remember they had um, it. And so Jesus. and so I and, <laughs> and so I uh, that's that's horrifying, Antonio. That's so so bad. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, no, but uh, uh, and, and 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 so I I was getting a slice of cake, and in the from the from the back of the room, I just hear, hey, that boy. <laughs> And I was like, and she was like, hey, fat boy. And I was like, what? <laughs> What's going on here? And then it started getting louder. And it was a woman who, you know, they just speak their mind. And it was my grandma. And she was <laughs> <laughs> no, no, and she, was, and, and she just kept saying, like, I bet you like that cake, fat boy. Oh, my God. This is the best story. And, and I was like, oh, oh. I, I did not know what to do. I was freaking the did fuck out. Did you tell her, yeah? I was. I, know, I, I, just, I, love I just kept cake. saying yes. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't know what to say to these people. So was, <laughs> she was just like, hey, fat boy. It's <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. She was kind of uh, singing it. How's your, <laughs> how's your day going? And she no, was, no offense to like anyone with Alzheimer's, but I wonder what reality she was living in where that's like appropriate. <laughs> the, and the, okay, the, the, the 60s, the 50s, maybe. Okay, maybe. She was yeah. like back then. Yeah, and and, and so and that's, so. Like, <laughs> so funny. I got the cake, and for you know, for for a second, like I think, like maybe I should just be like Ben Stiller and Happy Gilmore right now, and just like take the brakes off her wheelchair <laughs> yeah. and throw it like, the oh, ramp. Your fingers hurt. Yeah, it's like, oh, you, what are you gonna do about it? No, but uh, you just turn around, like, <laughs> who's your son? <laughs> yeah, you don't know. Okay, cool. But she, <laughs> oh. but she keeps she 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 keeps getting louder and louder to the point where she's like, fat boy. <laughs> And, and and now people are starting to take notice, and other citizen, other people, citizens. Citizens, other citizens are like, "That's when it's uh, a problem." You, oh, Jim, I'm so glad you're here. And like, there's like, "Oh, you're my grandson," and it, like, it's really starting to get like a big scene. Oh, they were they were fighting over you. Oh, because now it's now this is the main show, you know. <laughs> oh, I would have let her have it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I I just I got the cake. What I like, kind of looked her in the eyes, like a stare. I, can and, I, have, I have a really important question. <laughs> yeah. You finished the cake? Yeah, of course. I finished oh, yeah. the cake. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I mean, if I was gonna get berated by an old woman, I was gonna finish the fucking cake. She's like, I'm taking the whole cake now, you fucking old bitch. Yeah, good luck getting a piece. And so, and and and, and, and I just walked away. But but it, it it was like I walked to my grandma's room, and it was just, but it was comical. Like she was like she was yelling like it was a superhero movie, and like she was just like fat boy, and I, I was just that. like in the, and so I was walking the into the villain. room. You were the super villain. Yeah, like, she was you. just like fat boy. <laughs> Blast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I walked in the room and didn't tell a soul. My grandma also had uh, do that. something. I don't know. What's the de de dementia? difference between dementia and Alzheimer's? I think Alzheimer's is just worse. Because I think you like forget how to like... You're competing over you like, grandma you illnesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually really horrible. You forget how to do like... No, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure... I mean, both dealing with that. Both... It's, it's, it's Yo, also just my fa the way my family deals with that is way different than probably a lot of people deal with it. Like we went and visited my grandma, and she, was <laughs> <laughs> my grandma, like I felt like my dad is like you know he has the same sense of humor as I do. So he like walks in, she didn't know who he was. Like she called him like Mike or something. His mm -hmm. name's Joe, and cause, and she <laughs> she knew my mom. So he, so it was like not her son, you <laughs> yeah. know. So she was like, oh hey Biz. Mike! And he's like, great. <laughs> you know? Like, and at, at one point, she's laying there and she like leans over to me and she goes, when does this boat leave? <laughs> she thought she was on like a cruise ship. She's like, when does this boat leave? And I was like, uh, and like we had talked about too, like she's not going to know some stuff. It just kind of like, let, let them kind of like live in that reality, you know? Like whatever makes them happy or whatever it is. Like you don't be like, oh no, like because... 
it's kind of like when someone's sleepwalking, you don't wake them up because yeah, it'll yeah. freak them out. So it's, you know, I was just kind of like, soon. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to be soon. The captain Our, said five minutes. She, she thought she was in like a cruise ship at one point. I know another time she thought she was giving birth. She was like, where's my baby? And we're like, oh, dude, you're like 80 oh. something. Like, no, you're yeah, not have, having a baby. They have like fake babies and like wedding dresses and like really? things to, like that's kind a, of like. That's a lot. No, no. It's like, it's, it's to like, to try to like get into your memories and like remind you of something about, you know, your old life. No, nah, but it, but, it, and, and it's, it, it's, I mean, it's very upsetting, but it's kind of comical. Also, they do some funny stuff. Like a lot of them all the time think that they're at a hotel and just pack up their things and try to leave. Yeah. yeah. Like all the time. They're just like, Oh, I'll see you later. It was been a great stay. Yeah. <laughs> they're just like, no, no, no. It's very sad when they come to the reality of like, Oh man, I can't remember shit. But when they are not, or when they're living in a different reality, it's it's like it's interesting. Isn't that interesting also? Because it's like your perception is reality. In mm -hmm. a right. Way. You know right. what I mean? Like who's to say what it is? Like if you really think that you're on a cruise ship, like bro, you're on a cruise ship. Yeah, you're here. Like I, I yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like my perception is my reality. And I feel like that's like on a deep level. That's kind Getting of like deep. awesome to you know, whatever. But it's, it sucks also, when you like come to and you're like, oh god, I can't remember shit. But also, it's very similar to a cruise ship. You know, you're getting fed by other people. Like you get to sit down for dinner. And they you fuck just, like, like hell, don't they? Yeah. In yeah, nursing they, homes, STD. Pff, that's fire. <clears throat> uh, how, how you feeling? You good? Yeah, I'm good. You want to do the a couple questions of the game or? Oh, what is this game? Oh yeah, talk about your, your game. game. Yeah, yeah. We want to. You know, oh, sorry. Your, I was like, what we, the we fuck you talking about? We'll end on this. We'll go like this. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know, never mind. No, no. Oh. <laughs> see, it's not. It's, see, that was self inflicted. He <laughs> poured champagne. They're weatherproof. They're weatherproof. I'm glad you grabbed the vodka and not the paper towel to help me, like you nah, helped him. You, you're on your own, buddy. Also, you're okay. well, I can't reach that. Can you All grab right. that? God, God dang it. But yeah, when you were posting like hints uh, of your game, we were like, you know, we had the, the cork board out with like the red <laughs> Trying to figure out what's going on. What is going on? It's the red and the. And I messaged you and I was like, oh, you want to give any hits? This is what he said. Fuck you. <laughs> Did exactly, I say that? I, I'll show you. I'll sh I got I receipts. I got receipts. I say a lot of stuff. No, but uh, we, so I, I usually, you know, with my buddy Greg, who I, I do other people's lives with, like we're business par partners and we, we talk about a lot of things, um, you know, whatever. So we have like brainstorming sessions, like come up with like creative ideas to do this or that. And we were just talking about ideas to make for like the San Diego Studios channel when I was doing that, which I stopped doing because of the fucking pandemic. I couldn't film with people. Mm -hmm. But so we were coming up with ideas for what to do. And then um, Greg had shown an interest in like producing some sort of game show that we were going to shoot weekly. And he was like, so there would be like, you know, trivia questions, this and that. So we were kind of just like going through the motions of throwing ideas against the wall and kind of coming up with rules for this thing. And then... Um, we just kept talking about it. And then a few days later, we decided that it would be cool to kind of enter that card game space, that industry, because we feel like there's a lot of longevity in that, right? So every year you see uh, ads or whatever for Cards Against Humanity. This thing is 10 years old. Like people don't even realize. Like, And, and so it, it has a long lifespan. It's not like a you know, a thing that you put out and then it's like old next year. Like it has potential to catch fire like five years from now if you want. Um, but as long as the, the concept of it is good and like it actually is fun and eventually it catches fire, then you do well with that. So we're like, all right, let's do this card game thing. And there was so many fucking rules and it was so like, you know, whatever um, at first. And we decided to like super simplify it to what it is now. Um, but then we like we're doing research. I mean, we don't know fucking anything. I mean, whatever you guys know right now. I mean, I don't know how much you know about the card industry, but whatever you know right now is what we knew. It was nothing basically. We were just like, I don't know anything about this. Who makes them? How to make them? What the margins are? What the cost is? So we kind of just did our own research, and then we reached out to the same people who printed Cards Against Humanity, and they actually, I think, they're in New Jersey. So we uh, were talking to them about it, and like they're super cheap to make. And if you just have a good idea, they'll print it. And it's like, yo, you, if you sell 20, we'll print 20. So it, it's not really like one of those things like you need to hit a certain threshold. You just, if you're able to do it and it's a good idea, then fine. Like, we'll just do it. So, you know, we decided to come up with the game, uh, pay the price. And, and we uh, did all the trivia questions. We uh, tested it a lot. We tested people who were younger than us. Um, who were older than us. Like, we tested my mom to make sure that everyone kind of, like, knew what the fuck was going on. We didn't want it to be, like, 
you play Trivial Pursuit, and it's like, what 1950s cartoon? And you're like, well, I don't fucking yeah, know. It's like, like this question is yeah. lost. To yeah, me. like it's not happening. And then we also wanted to level the playing field for people to, you know, if you suck at trivia, but you're like down to do whatever, like you still have the opportunity to win. Technically, those people have the best opportunity to win. Right. Because you could score every single round. And if you're a combination of the two of like, I know trivia and I'll also do whatever, like those people are usually going to be the ones who win. And the, but they're also going to do like a ridiculous shit that everyone's going to enjoy along the way too. <laughs> Dude, I played one night with my friends because I had we had a prototype for a couple months and uh, this was like the first time that me and my friends went out like after the pandemic and we come back to my apartment and someone's like, oh, we should play the game. I was like, yeah, fuck it, we'll play. One of my friends dated a girl for like six years when he was younger and they had just like started talking again. So she came. Oh. And then we were playing this game and there was one of the consequence cards that I think we ended up like changing like the the fucking way it's presented or whatever. But it was basically like rank everyone, you know, I forgot I forgot how it was, but it was basically like rank <laughs> everyone on, on, on how from like one to ten on how they would be successful or something like that. Or like in order. Uh -huh. So I'd be like, oh, he's gonna be the most successful and he's gonna be the least successful and he's gonna be like in the middle and then like you know, it was it was like that. So like someone's answering that question, dude. People are yelling at each other. <laughs> people are doing whatever. And then my friends like, oh, like one of the one of the the first consequence card I came up with was just ridiculous. I was just like, stick your foot in the nearest toilet and flush it. <laughs> it was the first. It was the first ever. The first ever consequence card I came up with was that one. And then my friend pulled that and he's like, fuck it, I'll do it. He went into my to my bathroom, and flushed his foot down the toilet. <laughs> I was like, it got so sucked up. So it was a lot of fun. It was interesting to see people playing it and like having a good time and like the residual effect too. Like the next two days, everyone's like talking about like how funny it was like this happened and that. And we're like, oh dude, we feel like we really have something here. So we just ended the Kickstarter. Uh, I think we raised like $120,000 and then we're printing them now. They're in China being printed. Classic. So when are you expecting release? It's the same, same? Uh, Probably July. July? That's yeah, nice. Yeah, July. And then hopefully like a restock and then um, a big 2021 holiday push. They get in stores or? Yeah. So at a certain point, well, you have to like hit certain, certain like, thresholds like, yeah, and shit. Numbers but or whatever. If you sell all of them, uh, you know, I think we had three, a little over 3,000 backers on uh, Kickstarter. So they get the game and then we get a bunch of orders. We ordered a bunch of games on top of that. We have to run through those and then make another order. And then that, uh, hopefully at that point, it really depends. It's like you don't have to hit a certain number, but you have to like convince these people like, oh, we're doing well. We're going to sell these. And then they put them in stores like Urban Outfitters and fucking right. whatever. Right. Target. We're, Target. We're, we're super excited about it. Well, now we, we, we consider you a aficionado of games. So we have, we, we have a game to play. And basically, a lot of celebrities have released games. Um, we have a few that are real celebrity games and a few that are fake. And we want to see if you can snuff out which one is real or fake. Okay. Um, all right. So, for example, here's the first one. Um, Jeff Foxworthy, uh, you know, the... Comedian. The, yeah, comedian. And uh, what's that one show? Hillbilly. Smarter than a fifth grader. That guy, too. His game, uh, you might be a redneck if players answer questions and trivia in a race to fill up their trailer home. First person <laughs> with a trailer full of junk wins the game. I, I'm going to say that's real just because that's like his ultimate tag. <laughs> and like, and I, I, I've seen his stand up before and he, oh, he has like a whole section of his stand up where he does like, you might be a redneck. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> and then like to turn that into a game, I think this seems like a seamless thing that fucking middle America would love. And that is correct. Real. Uh, next one, Guy Fieri's diners, drive-ins and dice. <laughs> Uh, complete, compete with other players to make your way around the board and become the mayor of Flavortown. Find the best restaurants in town, but be careful to, not to fall into a grease trap. <laughs> in a grease trap. <laughs> the only reason why I'm going to think this is fake is because he is one of the most memed people on the internet, and I feel like I would have seen this. Yeah, you're right. Ah, damn, that's nailed good one. it, bro. Yeah, that's a good one. That was good. Yeah, that was they, good. they crushed him on the internet, dude. <laughs> that was a good one, though. That was very creative to come up yeah, with. Yeah, that was good. Um, that was good. One. All right, next, Gary. Yes. Gary V. <laughs> uh, Gary V's hustle hard virtual card game. Oh. Trade and collect assets and lucrative business ventures in this fast-paced multiplayer phone game. Work hard enough, and you just might own the New York Jets. I, I, I honestly, I pray this is fake. Cause I don't need another reason. <laughs> I don't need another reason to like 
just not really enjoy this dude. <laughs> oh, beef. Oh, beef. beef. Internet drama, though. I fake. It is fake. All right, no. No, because, like, I don't have anything wrong with... I don't, I don't have a problem with Gary Vee. He's, like, super intense, and it's, like, funny that he's, like, that intense. But also, like, I feel like a lot of the stuff he says is just super... Like, what the fuck are you saying? It's not applicable to the average yeah. It's person. very vague. It's also, it's also vague, and it's like, yo, people are, like, people. Like, they're complicated. It's not yeah. just like, yo, you're 23? You're, it's fucking easy. <laughs> just work. <laughs> Make an app. Like, yeah, yeah, you can't just... Tell your parents go fuck themselves. <laughs> yeah, it's like... like I get it because I agree in like the very general terms of like you need to put the work in, but like, dude, it's not as simple as you just being like, just fucking put it down, drop out of school, keep, <laughs> like work full time and do this on the also, side. It's also, like, bro. No offense to Gary V or multiple offense. It's wasn't he not successful until fifties? So did, tell him these 20, no, 20 year olds. He was still successful, but he did pass up on Uber twice and he talks about it constantly. Yeah, he did, he did, he did. Um, yeah, that's fine. That is fake. Uh, next one, Joel Olstein, mega pastor. This is real. I don't even uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is your it? best, your best life now. The game. Go around the board, collecting words of wisdom to win. Players must have faith and complete miracles in order to reach the end goal of being delivered from salvation. I am going to say that this is real because that man is the biggest <laughs> fucking scam artist in the world. It is real. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> that dude, is real, dude. I I think that those people are. Uh, and I, I I know this will be offensive to people who are like, I don't, is he like re he's religious, right? He's like a <laughs> that's his whole thing. I think so, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think so. He might be no, because I didn't know if he was like a motivational speaker or if he was uh, just like yeah, doing yeah. like a pastor or whatever. He sells like, out stadiums, stadiums, and he church. makes so much Kevin Hart money. numbers. Yeah, well, probably better than that. And <laughs> and he and then also I think these people also like they fly on private jets. These are this and that. Like it's very different from your typical like priest who takes a vow of poverty and you're like, oh, I need a private jet to get to my fucking stadium where I'm going to make a million dollars. And today. celibacy. You think Joel Olstein's not slamming. Slamming. Yeah, seriously. All right, next one. Paris Hilton, that's hot. The game. <laughs> uh, players compete in a mix of pop culture, trivia, embarrassing questions and challenges in an attempt to gain followers and attract some paparazzi along the way. This is tough. Um, that's a tough one. So that was a while ago. The that's hot thing. I am going to say that's real. Fake. Fuck. Ah, that's real. You, you can't, you know, you, you can't get one wrong. Yeah, one I, wrong. Guess, I guess <laughs> I guess one wrong. No, but Paris Hilton, bro, I remember the Paris Hilton thing. I mean, I was a little young for when that was happening and it was like the whole that's hot thing, but everyone knew Paris Hilton, dude. She was the original celebrity. Yeah. I feel like. First OGC. You know? for uh, <laughs> we got two more. <laughs> Um, Howie Mandel's How About a Fist Bump Live a Day in the Life of Famous Comedian Germaphobe and Host of NBC's Deal or comedian. No Deal uh, Dodge Big Crowds uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Avoid Fan transac Transactions and Germs in a Race to Make It Through Hollywood to Home Yeah, that one's yeah, fake. not fake that, I mean, not real oh, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, very so much If you can't read the card, sorry, you're giving yeah, it away yeah, It yeah. wasn't about not reading it. the card uh, For it me was, it was It was more so just about like, bro, this guy's like Yo, I got, I'm a germaphobe <laughs> Let's make a game about it That's a good point um, What is he? <laughs> deal or like, no deal Right, but like That's enough it Really? Wasn't and, he and doing America's, something America's on America's Got, got talent? talent? Yeah, 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 but that's very new it's what like was he doing before seasons? either of those? Yeah, he is a stand-up comedian. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Everyone and shot. a relatively famous one too. Like that's how he got the deal or no deal. Relatively. Game. Did not know that. Um. Did not know that. That was that was good. That was really final good. one. O.J. Simpson squeezed the juice. Okay. Collect evidence and hire lawyers <laughs> in this monopoly-like <laughs> board fake. game based on trial of the century. Hopefully, the game will fit. Will be a good fit for you and your friends. That's a great tagline. If you came up with that, is that fake? The tagline's fake. But the game is has been min it's not obviously not OJ Simpson approved, but it has been released. Oh my god, that's a great tagline though. <laughs> Yo, this guy, that's a great tagline. I actually have one more, but it's, uh, let's see. Uh, too much. Fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Maury, Maury's "You're Not the Father" game. Play, <laughs> play specialty cards to try to sway the audience in your favor. At the end, at the end, a DNA test is revealed, proving who is the father. Will How you get stuck with child support? I hope that's real. It is real. Yeah. And sold at Target <laughs> that even currently. Possible? Are you currently me? sold you at Target. You got to do a 23 and me? No, you have like a like a point card so you can like give points to like try to validate your argument and also detract points from other players. Who is buying this shit? The, the I own all of them. Middle-aged mom. 
And that's been, I don't know, board games or something. <laughs> <laughs> board games. Board games. <laughs> board games. Drum but roll. you did pretty well. Not pretty. What the hell? He, he he's an expert. One, you got one wrong? He, he got he got Paris Hilton and OJ wrong. Oh, he's yeah, he's tallying yeah. you. He, oh yeah, he's yeah. Giving, he's giving when Paris, I play Paris games, Paris Hilton one was a tough one. It's no, like a real thing. I feel like that yeah. was the most the one that the most could go either way. Yeah. What the Paris Hilton one? Yeah, it's like that makes sense. The OJ I, one is shocking. <laughs> that is definitely shocking. There's no Collect way. Collect evidence. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, nah. Does 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 it fit? Yeah, I, like I said, that's. Of all of the games, that's the one that's definitely not celebrity endorsed. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> he didn't no. Endorse definitely that. not. But there is uh, there is copies of it online. Very expensive, by the way. Might have to buy that. All right, I'll, we're cool all right. here, right? We yeah, got enough yeah. time. Hey, you, you cool? Yeah. You cool? Cool. <laughs> Cut off your head. You, you cool? <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, no, we're never going to do that. Uh, uh, let's, let's go around. Let's get all out right. of here. Uh, yeah, find me on Instagram at JTHolden97. Go follow it. Uh, you can find me at Joe Santagato or go follow The Basement Yard on uh, Instagram and The Talk and uh, <laughs> pay the price coming out this summer. Beautiful. Hell yeah. You can find me at Danny is Watching on Instagram and TikTok and all the other stuff. And you can find me at Aunt Prisco. Can't forget to follow. Picky Boys Podcast. Like, share, subscribe, share with your aunts and uncles and, you know, show love to Joe Santagato. It's your turn now. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> this is to the fans. Thanks, guys. <laughs>